Welcome and thank you for taking a few minutes to see just how simple it is to e-file your 1099s using the Atrix e-file solution. Atrix is accessed from your host software either through the federal reporting menu or from a direct 1099 link. Once you have accessed Atrix, it will begin with just a few questions to set up your company. The first option you have is to test drive the 1099 solution, which means you can choose the first 25 recipients or use all of your recipients and go through the process just for confidence. It does not allow you to file. It will not allow you to make a mistake. It's just a way to test the software so that you feel comfortable. When you're ready to go, click no thanks and start processing. We're going to verify the EIN just to make certain that we're filing for the correct company. We're going to ask you if you have multiple databases that you're filing for 1099s. If you do, you'll click yes here. You'll go through each database separately and they will be merged at the end of the process. The federal government does want to know whether you're a third party filer or if you're filing for your own company. If you're a third party filer, you're going to have to answer a couple of questions to identify yourself. We're going to verify all of your state IDs so that when we're processing, they're all done correctly and to the correct account. We're going to ask you if you had any vendors who have elected to receive their 1099s electronically. We're going to give you the opportunity to truncate identification numbers. You can choose the method that you prefer. Once you've completed the company setup, you'll begin verifying the information in our grid which most people will recognize as a spreadsheet format. You'll go through a step-by-step -step process to verify this information, starting with recipient taxpayer identification numbers. Next, you'll make sure that you have your FEINs verified. You'll have the opportunity to look at names and addresses to make certain that those are all current. You'll begin to look at the all income boxes. We have a number of them set up, so I'll just show the first five. You'll notice that at the top of each column, there is a total. This gives you the opportunity to verify these numbers against a printout that you may have created from your host software. This is a list of the states that you'll be filing for for each individual, and these are the withholdings for those states. Again, during this entire process, we are checking limits, checking rates, making certain that those numbers are within the guidelines. Once you've verified your data, you'll select the level of service that you desire. The complete 1099 e-file service is certainly the best practice. Atrix will print and mail your recipient copies, will provide the information you need for those that have chosen to receive electronic only, will file the Fed 1099s and 1096, will file all of the applicable 1099s for the state, and the reconciliation forms. All of this for one low fee. You have the option of purchasing a PDF archive. We provide this in the form of a flash drive. It is for your convenience. You can put it in a safe, you can take it off site, or you can simply keep it in your desk for easy reference. This is the list of the states that you have asked us to file for. I'm going to remove a couple just to save some time. This is the task list that Atrix agrees to. These are the things that we're going to do on your behalf. We're going to e-file the federal 1099s. We're going to e-file the federal 1096. We're going to file the Georgia 1099s. We're going to file the Georgia G1003 report. We're also going to print and mail the recipient copies. And we're going to make the payer copies available for you to print. Now that you've verified the information and you're ready to move forward, you'll have the opportunity to review all of the actual forms as they will be printed and or e-filed. We'll start with the payer copies. Again, you have the option to print these if you wish. Otherwise, they're always available in your history file. These are the federal 1099s. You'll notice those are two up. This is the federal 1096. One last opportunity to check those totals. This is the Georgia 1099s. Again, you can check each of those if you wish. This is the Georgia G1003 report. You'll notice that there are highlighted blue fields. This form is still editable as it is the first time you have re reviewed this data. You can make any changes that you feel are necessary and simply click Next. Once you've reviewed all of the forms, you'll simply log into the Atrix eFile Center using the credentials that you created when you enrolled at eFile.atrix.com. First thing we're going to do is verify that enrollment information so that it's correct. 
We're going to show you exactly how much this is going to cost and for each line item. In this case, 129.34. You're going to have the opportunity to select a mailing date if you wish. If you do not choose a mailing date, these will be put in the mail the next business day. We are going to ask for a credit card to process the fees. We're going to make sure that we have the correct address that we can mail that PDF archive flash drive to you. This final confirmation lets you know that it's a 1099 filing. This is the company EIN that we're filing for and the addresses. Again, the total cost, $129.34. Once you have submitted, you'll receive an AFID number. This is an important number because if you have any questions about your filing or if you need support in any regard, you're going to need that number. Uh, you'll get that in the form of an email confirmation. It'll also be available at your admin site at efile.atrix.com. And of course, it's also in your history file. So you don't have to commit it to memory or write it down. That's how easy it is to efile your 1099s using the Atrix efile solution.